So the first step to creating your own online course is to first of all, press the big green create a course button. Now when you first log into your Thinkific school, you'll have a screen that looks very similar to this one here. And you're going to go up to the top left hand side, my courses. So click on the my courses button. Now in the future, when you've got multiple programs, all of them will show up here like a great big grid. And you'll be able to click on each one of your courses to then go in and edit each individual course. But for now, we need to create one in the first place. So all we're going to do is press the great big create a course button. Now before we do that, I'm just going to let you know about what this bundles button is here. Now when you have multiple courses later on, you know, you're going to go in there and create lots of them in the future, hopefully build your own academy. But what you can do later on is you can actually start offering your students discounts if they buy multiple courses. Now let's pretend you've got a big course. Now let's say it's, I don't know, 10 modules long, for instance. Now what you could do is you could actually break that course up into 10 mini courses. Now once you've got 10 mini courses, now let's pretend that the 10 module course is $100, just purely for the sake of the maths here. Now what that means is that each module potentially is worth $10 each. So think about the fact that when you're approaching people that don't know you yet or that are not familiar with you, sometimes you've kind of got to break into people's worlds gently and slowly. So what you could do is recognize the fact that not everyone would maybe willingly spend $100 on you just like that the first time they've ever come across you. However, they might be comfortable to spend $10 with you. So you can break that 10 module course up into 10 individual mini courses for just $10 each. Now think about it, you're not actually losing any money because they're still valued at the same value, value that it would be as a whole part. And then you can bundle all of those 10 mini courses together as one big package. Now what this does psychologically for your learner is makes them feel like they're getting 10 courses for the price of one instead of one course for the price of one. So it's not tricking people, it's not being cheeky or anything like that. What it's doing is really showing the value of your content and just how much you have available and it's providing your student with much more options too. Because again, if your student is looking at the full 10 module course and it comes as one package on its own, it's just one solid course, um, they may only want three of the modules in it and they may make a decision to not buy that course because there's 10 modules that they feel are not applicable to them. So you actually lose $30 that you could have had if they'd just been able to purchase those modules individually. So what this actually starts to do is open up your, your online school or your online business for a much more commercial bottom line. It has much more commercial opportunity when you start seeing each of the elements as your training uh, as, as multiple parts that all come together in many different ways. So a little bit of a by the by there, that's just where that bundles button is. Now when you have courses created and published, then you can go into press this bundles button and you can start creating your bundles which are sections selections of courses that people can buy maybe at a discounted rate than they would if they buy them all individually so for now all you're going to do is press the big green create a course button and we're going to create our first course so first of all pop the course name in here and this lady's course is called memoir makers now you can change this later so don't worry if uh, if you you're not sure what your name is just yet. Sometimes I actually name my course after I finished filming it because even though I have a really clear course plan put together, sometimes the way that I teach it and end up speaking about it because I personally don't script, sometimes can actually change slightly in the feeling, the approach and so on. So I go back and maybe rename my courses at the end of filming as well as going back and, and rewriting the, the description of what it's about to really match the way that I ended up communicating that in the filming process. So here we are. This is now the type of screen that you will see once you've gone into this end. So we'll end this video here and we'll move on to the next section.